Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the Partners Co-Chairs, Joe Brock and Tiffany Hickson. My name is Joe Brock. And I'm Tiffany Hickson. It has been our great honor to co-chair the 2010 ACT IAC Partners Program. <laughs> the Partners Program is ACT IAC's flagship executive development program. It's designed to prepare future government and industry technology leaders for the roles they will fill at the most senior levels of both government and industry. The program started in 1997 with 10 professionals. Tonight, 13 years later, we will have graduated over 425 partners. success comes from the unique set of leadership experiences it provides while allowing government and industry to walk in each other's shoes over the 10-month program. Each government participant is partnered with someone from the private sector. These individuals learn to share perspectives and collaborate on the key challenges faced by the technology community. This relationship forges a partnership dedicated to delivering value to each agency's mission and to the American taxpayer. During this year's program, partners participated in over 60 hours of executive level topics. They learned from each other and executive leaders, many who are here tonight. Throughout the program, they have come to know more about themselves, about leadership, and about being change agents. In the future, as participants advance in their careers, they will be able to rely on the network of professionals they develop during their time in the partners program. One reason the Partners Program selection process remains so competitive after 13 years is because it's the only program of its kind where industry and government can learn from each other in a safe environment. The insights gained through the program foster better communication, understanding, and make better leaders. And as leaders of your organizations, that's something you all can draw upon. The applications are now being accepted for the 2011 class and the deadlines December, December 17, 2010. But don't wait to the last minute. Now is the time to nominate your future senior executives to be partners. And the competition's tough, so send us your best. The program's designed to keep commitments reasonable and to fit into people's very hectic schedules. If you're interested in finding out more information on the Partners Program, previous participants in the ACT IAC website are great sources of information. There's also a program located in your conference registration bag. A class is only as good as its participants, and in 2010, we had another exceptional roster of partners across a wide range of disciplines. At very events during the year, the group explored important topics such as social networking, cybersecurity, acquisition, financial management, cloud computing, and most importantly, leadership and career development. It has been an enriching experience for Joe and me to watch them develop as they learn to understand issues from each other's perspectives. We have seen this class evolve from a collection of individuals to a cohesive class. And while Joe and I served as their leaders, we have also learned a great deal from this truly exceptional group. And many individuals outside the class share credit for making the 2010 Partners Program a resounding success. Tiffany and I and the class owe many thanks to those of you who participated in our monthly sessions or took the time to meet with us and share your thoughts. You're an integral part of what makes this program work. We deeply appreciate your willingness to contribute your knowledge and experience and we look forward to widening the circle of support in the future. 
Joe and I owe a special thank you to our four vice chairs, John Nice, Tom Boyce, Anthony Salvi, and Susan Millage. Their willingness to step up to the plate and to help lead various endeavors contributed enormously to the program. Without their support, we never would have been able to accomplish all we did this past year. It's now time to officially graduate the Partners Class of 2010. And this also marks the beginning. They will become the newest IAC Fellows, the alumni group of over 500 partners and voyagers from both government and industry. We would like, now like to recognize our graduates individually. The photos you will see represent the partner pods. Each pod includes two government partners and two industry partners who work together as a team during the program. We will read the graduates' names by pod. Would the partners class of 2010 please stand as we read your names. <laughs> Lee from NOAA, Terry Miller, CSC, Michael Everingham, Library of Congress, and Jennifer Cronus from IBM. Jody Ganser Miller, ATS Corporation, Jeffrey Wells, EPA, Valerie Thompson from uh, Versanvo. <laughs> I practice that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Denise Hill from the Department of Energy. Jay Hadley, ICF International. Yeah. Cynthia Morgan, Department of State. Bradley Nix, USDA. And Scott McGee from Deloitte. <laughs> Naveen Krishnamurthy, K4 Solutions. Cindy Brockwell, BizConnect, John Sprague, NASA, Horace Blackman, Veterans Affairs. Joaquin Mascara from Department of Transportation, Denise Wolford, Department of Treasury, Jennifer Keating, CWG, and Sudar Vedyanathan uh, from Carson Solutions. Paul Rosader from Cisco, Sandra Paul Blanc from NARA, Seth Finkel from Carpathia Hosting, Antonio Chantre from Department of Interior. Mike Tuck from Aqualint, Gail Greenwald from GSA, Eileen Badia from Department of Defense, and Tamira Khan from Oracle. Earl Underwood from Department of State, Lisa Martin from Leapfrog Solutions, Bill Corrin from Department of Homeland Security, Judith Cohen from Inner Image. And to the class of 2010, congratulations. Each of you has successfully completed the requirements for the Partners Program and are now ACT IAC Fellows. Please join us in a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the Chair of the Industry Advisory Council, Andy Robinson, and the President of the American Council for Technology, Prashant Gower. All right, excitement builds. ACT-IAC is extremely fortunate to have many individuals from both industry and government 
who volunteer their time throughout the year to serve as committee members, as leaders, and as subject matter experts. To each and every one of you, we say thank you. Each year, this rich pool of volunteers produces a few individuals who have made a special contribution to the organization. One of the highlights of ELC is the opportunity to re recognize and thank these individuals. To identify these individuals, we invite the entire ACT-IAC membership to submit nominations. A very impressive list of nominees was received. The ACT Executive Committee reviewed all the nominations and made the final selections. Tonight, we want to publicly thank these individuals. A note to the award recipients. When I call your name, please rise and come to the stage. The first award is for the Rookie of the Year. This award recognizes an individual who is new to IAC, less than two years of involvement, and has made a significant contribution to the achievement of the goal, organization's goals and objectives. We consider the nominee's extent of involvement in IAC, contributions made, willingness to volunteer to fulfill commitments, initiative, innovation, and enthusiasm. This year's Rookie of the Year award goes to Habib Nassibdar with U.S. Max Corporation. Although Habib has only been active in IAC for about 18 months, he has already made his mark. He chaired the 2010 Excellent Stud Gov Awards program and provided the leadership that elevated the awards to a new level. This year, he continues to serve on the Excellent Stud Gov Planning Committee. He also helped establish our Cloud Computing Working Group to support the administration's activities on this initiative. He serves as the chair of this working group and has helped forge a strong relationship with GSA on cloud computing issues. The group is currently working on a deliverable pertaining to trusted internet connections in the cloud. Habib has also represented the working group in IAC in presentations to the IAC, IAC Partners Program and on the radio. And while he was doing all this, he also became a parent for the first time. I think a daughter is in the house now. Please join me in congratulating Habib Nassar. awards we will present are for individual contributor. These awards go to two individuals, one from government and one from industry, who have made significant contributions to act IAC over the past year. In reviewing the nominees, we considered the nominees level of participation in act IAC, the nature of the contribution with a special emphasis on accomplishments that demonstrate leadership, innovation, and initiative, ability to work in a consensus-based environment, and commitment to a public-private partnership. When the criteria were applied to this year's nominees, there were two individuals who stood out from the crowd. First, I'd like to recognize this year's Industry Contributor of the Year, Anilia Codrington of Performance Value Management. During the past year, Anilia has made a tremendous contribution to act to act She was the vice chair of the 2010 Small Business Conference and a key part of the leadership team that set a new record for attendance at this conference. She has agreed to serve as the chair of the 2011 Small Business Conference and has vowed to break the record of 300 attendees. In addition to her work on the Small Business Conference, Anilia has also served uh, as a, sp a sponsorship ambassador. She's more than just an ambassador. She's led the responsibility for ELC sponsorships. This year was uh, especially challenging for sponsorships, and we're pleased to have so many sponsors here this year, actually. Uh, Anita's leadership and drive are major factors in our success. As many of you may know, Anita is a former Marine. While she, while she no longer wears the uh, khaki, she brings the same determination to everything she does. Please join me in congratulating Anita Codger for 2010 Industry Contributor of the Year. Water. 
Um, we also uh, want to recognize now uh, someone from government who has made a significant contribution. <clears throat> Our 2010 Government Contributor of the Year is Mary Davey of GSA. Well-deserved, well-deserved. Mary's a longtime contributor to ACT-IAC. She's a member of the Acquisition SIG Government Advisory Panel and has played a major role in shaping the agenda of the SIG. She's also on the ACT Board of Directors, where she serves as Vice President at Large. In that role, she has made significant contributions to ACT and the accomplishments of its objectives. In addition to providing valuable advice, Mary's also one of the individuals who makes a commitment to do something and follows through, and that's very much appreciated. Perhaps there is no better example of this than her work with Better Buy Project. Better Buy is a project designed to bring innovation to the federal acquisition process through the application of the Web 2.0 technologies. Mary proposed the idea for this project. She then forged a public-private partnership with ACT-IAC and the National Academy of Public Administration to implement the idea. Working together, GSA, ACT-IAC, and NAPA put together requests for public comments and suggestions. Over 100 ideas were received. These were reviewed, and GSA has launched two acquisitions that will test the application of the best ideas. While this work continues, we're also have exploring ideas for taking Better Buy to the next level. Better Buy would not have happened without Mary's unrelenting drive to improve the acquisition process and desire to use collaborative technologies in government in a way that is new and creative. Over the past year, she's been an outstanding spokesperson for the project, and ACT and IAC and her creativity, leadership, and innovation are worthy of the Government Contributor of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Mary Davey. <laughs> And now, the IAC Chair's Award and IAC President's Award. <clears throat> These are given to individuals who may not have fit into the other categories, but who deserve special <laughs> recognition. PG will come forward. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, OK, sorry. <laughs> um, are you presenting the IAC or IAC? <laughs> I think I'm presenting the Industry Contributor of the Year Award. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for the teleprompter, just in case you're wondering what's going on. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's me, PG. I'm so okay, bad. so I'm just going to speak impromptu. So it's my honor to present uh, the Act President's Award to somebody whom we all know, whom we all love, who has done phenomenal for our organization as well as for the community. And that gentleman who's here today with us is Dave Vinegaret. couldn't help himself. <laughs> no, thank you all very much. This is really a wonderful honor. Uh, this is, these are fabulous organizations. IAC I and ACT are organizations that like, are all about the things that matter a lot to me. 
that this strategic partnership between industry and government is just so important to making a better world and that we all have a responsibility to train and grow the next generation of people that come after us. So this commitment to mentoring and coaching and stuff is just fabulous stuff. And it's what makes the world a better place. And you are able to touch the future by how you touch lives today. So thank you for doing this and thank you. And uh, as probably all of you know, Dave is moving on to be the Assistant Deputy Chief Management Officer of DOD. And we're looking forward to his bringing together business technology and strategy for the good of what we do. So again, thank you, Dave. Um, please back up. <laughs> Back, thank you, thank you. Uh, PG will come forward and moment present the Act Presence Award. First, it's my uh, pleasure to give uh, the 2010 IAC Chairs Award to Ed Marr of CSC. Ed Marr is well known within our community for both his leadership in the IT arena and his commitment to our nation's veterans. This year we recognize Ed for his leadership as chair of the IAC VISTA project. As you know, Roger Baker at VA asked IAC for recommendations regarding the modernization of a, moder of a legacy system, VA's healthcare information system known as VISTA. We put together a working group of over 42 IAC member companies to answer Roger's question. We look for a chair for this important working group Ed raised his hand. Over the next six months, Ed provided the leadership, the drive, the open forum needed to produce the VISTA report. The report was produced on schedule and within budget. We always appreciate being on schedule and on budget. Most importantly, the report represented a unanimous consensus of the working group. This project raised the bar on the type of advice and assistance that we in the IT industry can provide to our government colleagues. It is an example of the value of this unique collaboration available from ACT to IAC. This milestone would not have been possible without Ed Marr. Please join me in congratulating Ed Marr. We're now going to announce this year's winner of the Janice K. Mendenhall Spirit of Leadership Award. To make the presentation, I would like to invite Bob Woods, the recipient of the award last year, to come to the podium. Just so we all know, I'm not allowing pictures. Um, th thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening. I am Bob Woods, and it's truly an honor to present this year's Janice K. Mendenhall Award. I'd like to invite our previous winners uh, who are with us. I believe Ellen Glover and Howard Aidey uh, are here to join me on the stage. <laughs> Janice Mendenhall was a model for us all a professional who tirelessly promoted and supported the IT community. Janice was one of those dedicated professionals who not only believed in our mission, but lived it as well. A leader, a mentor, and a teacher, Janice worked for the federal government at GSA and the State Department for 32 years up until her untimely death in 2001. She worked relentlessly to strengthen relationships between government and industry leaving behind a legacy of individuals 
who have benefited both professionally and personally from her ethics, her integrity, and her selflessness. Each year, the LC would give the Janice Mendenhall Award to one carefully selected recipient. Nominations were solicited from the government IT community at large. The nominations were reviewed by the IAC uh, Executive Committee against some established cr uh, criteria set up ahead of time. While there were a number of exceptionally qualified candidates, as you might imagine, the final decision was relatively easy. The 2010 Janice K. Mendenhall Spirit of Leadership Award goes to an individual who has been a backbone of this organization for many years. This person has worked behind the scenes and in leadership positions as well. This individual embodies the leadership qualities we attribute to Janice. She has a long standing commitment to public service and a strong reputation for integrity. She is one of the founding members of the networks and tele telecom SIG, where she has held a variety of positions. She is a past executive committee chair, a member served with Ann Reed, who was then at USDA, as the first women to co-chair ELC and continues to serve on every ELC and MOC planning team, either as an advisor or in a formal capacity. In addition to her involvement in ACT, IACT, she demonstrates her commitment to the overall federal IT community through leadership within Tech America, Affirm, WIT, and FCA. Hers is a career of sustained leadership. She has quietly served as a coach and mentor to many uh, who are now or have already served in ACT, IACT leadership positions. Many campaign strategies are honed during conversations with her. She is also sought after to help new members meet, up, meet other members and helps ensure new members get a good start in the organization. She supports people behind the scenes without regard for her own personal recognition. When she reaches out to her government colleagues to speak at ACT IACT programs, she, we, you always know that she uses the highest degree of professionalism and brings credit to our organization. She's a strong consensus builder as demonstrated by her ability to pull together a variety of thoughts and perspectives while serving on various planning teams to develop sound recommendations. She moved our program delivery uh, while I was chair to a new level uh, on the IAC board, and I personally benefited from her contributions. I suspect that the sharper knives in the drawer have already figured out who I'm referring to. Please join me in congratulating Deirdre Murray. <laughs> as the 2010 Dennis Mendenhall Award winner. quite prepared for this, but I will say this. I had the good fortune of meeting and working with Janice Mendenhall, and this is truly an honor. Thank you. I believe Dave's going to enter the uh, up to the stage.
Okay, I was expecting the voice of God to introduce me, but that... Uh... I mean, it is the last night, come on. I'd like to say congratulations to all of the award winners uh, and the partners.